weird. I don't know how yeah. it makes me feel. Couple pints pod unlimited, baby. <laughs> Here Couple pints pod XL <laughs> after dark. <laughs> Welcome back to your favorite podcast, a couple pints pod. Today, yeah. this gentleman joining us is a long awaited guest who we shout out frequently, who is also probably the only person who watches this episode besides Michael. He's also oh one God. of the only other people that comments on our videos. Well, you guys like talk to me directly. And so I'm like, I know. How's that feel, by the way? It, it feels nice because it's like, so, you know, you know, the like, Will Crutchfield. Shout out Will Crutchfield. Shout out. Um, no, but it it feels nice because it's like I feel like there's kind of the running joke with podcasts about how listening to podcasts is like fake friends. You know, it's like you just like you put work on, you're like working and you put it on in the background. And it sounds like you've got like people that you're hanging out with, and so listening to you guys is fun because it's like I actually know you guys, so it's like <laughs> fake friends but real friends. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then randomly we'll just be like, so will <laughs> yeah, and I'm like. Oh. Oh shit, like like me? And they're like, yes, Will Crutch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you. And then we have a full conversation in real time. It's great. That's why you guys should watch episodes to the end, just for that. And maybe we'll shout you out. I mean, if you were to comment or you were to like, give us a thumbs up or make friends in the comments. With our posts, yeah, but I, pro- I promise if you watch more than like a handful of episodes, they'll probably notice and be like, hey. We shout w- out. Oh, dude, we should have hung your ornament from this little tree. Maybe we I'll get have. it when I get a beer. Yeah, that's right. I'll get it when I get a beer. So close, so far away. Um, so we're just going to kind of, I'm redlining because Will's voice is so deep and mine's so not. We're just going to kind of, I think the goal today is just let you two fucking go wild because you've inspired a couple conspiracies. You're the yep. conspiracy. I'm just going to kind of. We have an official moderator here on the floor today. I mean, we always do. That's why I'm. That's my job. Lately, I've been convincing you. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Good cop, depressed cop. Everyone knows that one. Sometimes mentally challenged cop over here. Yeah. That's me. It's like that, uh, it's like that old YouTube show from like the early 2000s. Named Charlie Policeman. Oh. Oh. No. Dude, old that's a good one. I, unless you're going to watch this and cancel yourself, you could say whatever you want. <laughs> Um, should we do what we always do and like let him plug himself or just do stuff? Oh, I didn't start let's, a timer. Let's start with a dog. Do it. Plug Shout out your shit. Because you if you'll notice the camera on our thing, Will gave me that for this trip so I could take pictures because he's a photographer yeah. with an Instagram for photography. Dude's dope. Yeah, you can follow my photography account at Water Supply Company. Uh, no caps, no spaces. Uh, yeah, I shoot mostly film. I'm also a painter. Uh, that's what I study. You can follow that at uh, cloned underscore. That's K L O N E D underscore on Instagram. And there we go. Uh, that, those are the only plugs I have. Why are you wearing so many socks? I wore two socks today. It's cold, man. My feet are cold. In well, I shouldn't say my feet are cold because I'm sweating in my apartment. But for some <laughs> reason, well, you live in an attic. For some reason, my feet get oh, chilly. Hot stuff is. <laughs> you think it'd be hot? But it's rather cold up there. Do you want my fuzzy Crocs? No, my Rick socks and these Nike socks are doing very well. You're so athletic. Nike, sponsor us. <laughs> nah, dude, you gotta Nike, go we know you're watching. No, no free plugs. No free plugs. Facts. Yeah. Except for <laughs> except for the people that couple we like pines merch. Hey, <laughs> Christmas is coming up. Teespring.com forward slash couple pines pod. We got sweatshirts, t-shirts, koos- well, the koozies aren't on there. We had to make those custom. Well, uh, but if you want a koozie, if you want a koozie, I'll make though. more. Um, tell James you know, to make more koozies. I'm not gonna, gonna lie, koozies. This not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not oh. tooting our own horn. Maybe right we'll here. do a different color this time. The, these koozies, dude. I was looking at one of my koozies that Brie got me. Store bought koozie, official little koozie. These things, twice as thick. Yeah, these are top quality koozies. Twice as thick, twice as comfy Horrible. in your hand. Not to it's mention, I can drop my beer from this height, <laughs> and look how sturdy. Look how is. cold it is. Totally I didn't hold it with you. Set that down, but <laughs> I don't think that takes away from the quality of the koozie. Oh. Oh. I can sell you that pen. Okay, so I think we start with Will's thing, and then use your examples to justify Will's theory. Yeah. 
Yeah. I yeah. think that's a good idea. So you can lead us off. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, yeah, I guess when James asked me if I had any ideas for the podcast, um, I didn't really come back with any conspiracies, so to speak, but kind of just a lot of like concepts and ideas about like how conspiracies work. And so I really just wanted to talk about like the phenomenology of like what makes conspiracies happen and like what makes things believable and like what discredits them and like that kind of thing. So what, so what does that? Um, so I think first of all, um, I think there's a couple like groups and stuff kind of that are very conspiracy, conspiratorial minded that whenever they latch on to an idea it pretty much kills the mainstream credibility of that conspiracy like dead in the water so it's like if you have some like some conspiracy that's like kind of believable and like a lot of like more mainstream people like believe it and then like the flat earth people for example or something like that get a hold of it and like they start latching on to that and like using it to support like their claims then everybody else is like okay like maybe i uh, i don't know about this but it's like yeah it's like the flatter people and like the uh q and on yeah, obviously the q, the q and on <clears throat> but like if what i'm trying to apply it in reverse so like if q and on people were like global warming is real does that discredit global warming <laughs> Um, no, mm. because global warming is not a conspiracy. Some people think it is. Some people. A lot of people really think it think is, it which is. is upsetting. Okay, let me use a better one. <laughs> let me use a better one. If if QAnon was like, yeah, jet fuel can't melt steel beams. <laughs> there we go. Now remember, YouTube, we're just this is theories, correlations here. We're not saying anything. Yeah, yeah. I said nothing wrong, or of the sorts. Usually you don't say anything wrong or of the sorts in YouTube. True. So <laughs> yes, anyway. very true. So. If I'm I'm starting to hear there's starting to be rumors and little dwindlings going around that it's possible QAnon is a psyop by the CIA uh. for disinformation to be spread through the public. Okay, well the CIA has certainly meddled in crazier things than that. yeah than that but i would not put it past them did you guys hear about yet. did you guys hear about the like recently the banana farm strike and apparently in like some south i don't want to get the country wrong but some south american country i think i think it was ecuador yeah. but apparently these workers were striking and then like the cia went in and muddled with it and like a fuck ton of people died just so Americans wouldn't have to pay like two dollars more for Chiquita bananas. Well, yeah, those. Um, so I heard that on Son of a Boy Dad. Shouts out, Son of a Boy Dad. What? That's some American Dad oh, episode true. shit right there. Dude. Yeah. I watched, a, I watched a really good conspiracy video about. Um, well, not really a conspiracy yeah. video so much as just like a, a piece about it. But there's a lot of weird shit that goes on with the banana industry stuff bro but like why um because bananas are the like, bananas bananas like go bad very very quickly after can i just start off by so, saying i fucking hate bananas okay yeah, now that that's out of the way like, it's not bananas aren't even i can't bad. stand I bananas i don't know i kind of um, like bananas <laughs> but they go <laughs> they go bad and they get all brown and then people make like banana pudding with them and shit yeah right but Protein whole, smoothie. Like, Some people know. like a good old fashioned rotten fucking banana. That's so gross, dude. That really That's so gross. But yeah, like there's there's a lot of like motivation to control the entire supply chain of bananas for your banana industry to be successful. That's where the term banana republic comes from. What? Yeah, but I thought there was like, like just a decent shop. Like yeah, what? These American corporations like basically have to control like top to bottom the whole supply chain and basically like metal in like economies and governments of the places that they are harvesting the bananas mm. from and so a, like the banana industry specifically a lot of weird fucked up like geopolitical shit happens in that it's i crazy. can it's see that crazy. well that was like when the cartel started like uh stowing avocados away and then avocados went up to like six dollars a pound 
Bang. Bing, bang, boom. Bing, bong. I recently... I there was a, on, on exactly what Will was talking about with the banana industry. Yeah. How many times do you think, well, not even, because there's only been two or three accounts where it's been proven that the American government was meddling in South American countries for pretty much slave work? It's been more than two or three times. You think it's been more than two or three recorded and put out to the rest of the world? I mean, how, how far back in time are we talking about? Well, I mean, like, it's it was easier to hide it back in the day. Like, Nowadays, it's like getting that. even harder because some some random fucking dude could fly a drone and see this field and people working in the field and be like, hmm, I want to see what that is. And then they go to see what it is. And lo and behold, it's an American set up factory where they're paying less than minimum wage and giving them on site housing that is less than dirt. Yeah, well, why do you think nothing's made in America? Because that's how all these corporations make billions of dollars. Well, that's what I'm saying. How many times do you hey, think? Our hey, own hey, hey, who who built the iPhone that you have in your pocket? <laughs> little fingers. A little dying Chinese kid, dude. So I wonder how many times our own government. I almost said like, something you know that what? definitely would have striked us. You know what? We got to block our own people from knowing what's happening so we can continue this monopoly. Wait, what? Sorry. Oh, I'm just saying. I was thinking about the really fucked up thing I was going to (laughs) say. Good thing you didn't. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to ruminate on it. The CIA or the FBI, how many times do you think they've covered up and see? Well, my thing is, my thing is like, continue the monopoly. I feel like the CIA is way dirtier than the FBI. Oh, yeah. Because you never hear, like, the FBI fucking sold cocaine and started the crack epidemic. I mean, the the head of the CIA is in power longer than almost three, four, five presidents, maybe seven, eight, nine, depending on how young they are when they get the position. Wait, who's that? You're talking about the... The head of the CIA. Yeah. That's a lifetime position until you say, all right, I call it quits. And even then you're still connected. Didn't they change recently? Caught up about It's like, we can't ever let a president serve a term longer than eight years. It's like, I agree with, I think that should be upheld, but there are a lot of other positions that hold power for a lot fucking longer than like president and stuff like that. And it's like, I mean, I'm sure we, what we're told is that they don't have as much power as like the president and stuff like that. We don't know, dude. It's like an also example. like who is any yeah 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 who is anyone to say the head of the CIA is not a corrupt guy? Yeah, That's got to be know. one of the most corrupt yeah. men in the CIA and the FBI. I'm assuming it's a man. Well, I can't. It's also knowing our government. There's no shot that they would let a woman run the CIA, which is also fucked up. YouTube. Unless that's the perfect cover-up for the CIA that there's a woman at the head of it, and they use a bunch of guys as the figureheads. So no one, nothing can trace back to her. Well, then I That'd feel like I feel like the CIA would be a lot cleaner and a lot less. Oh, they fucked up. Oh, if women you, are if women are good at fire. Women are really good at that. sleuthing and and hot like. But imagine if you have all these pawns true. where you can be like, bam, gone, bam, gone. You got in trouble, bam, gone. Something found out about you, bam, gone. Never gonna get back to the real person though. So you're saying there's like a. A secret leader of the CIA. Yeah, I'm saying like maybe there's a lady who's the secret overall top head honcho who calls all the shots, and the guys who are the head of the. But CIA also, what like puzzle my exactly. I guess overall, my whole point was whoever's heading this notoriously corrupt government wing is definitely very corrupt. Yeah. But like then, like I said, why isn't the FBI the same way? They might be, but maybe to a lesser caliber. Because, like, the CIA... The FBI has more actual shit to do. <laughs> yeah, I guess you're the right. The CIA is just like, can we, can we ski? Let's fucking... <laughs> let's fucking... Like, the FBI is like, guys, there's another serial killer <laughs> that's murdering, like, hundreds of people that we have to go find. Oh, whatever. damn it. We're on a manhunt again. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like they just get like called up to do so much like actual shit that they're like, yeah, we don't have time to meddle in a bunch of fuck shit. Anymore. We don't have time to ruin South American and European countries. No, the CIA, they're just like, yeah, let's study mind control. 
give you acid. They probably have a tally mark in their office of how much thousands or millions each employee has made off one of their <laughs> offshore drug deals that they have. <laughs> It's like a race. That would be great. It's like a gold star chart. Every million, you get a gold star. Good job this month. You get two gold stars. It's like their version of having like a fantasy football league. (laughs) You drafted this country. How much heroin can you sell in Iraq this year? Oh my God. Wait, no. This is actually what the Facebook people do manipulating (laughs) elections. Ooh. (laughs) They're like, Hey, what third world country did you completely bro? The economy. Facebook just got a uh, I want to say one point three billion dollar lawsuit because they they caused a genocide and a civil uprising in Myanmar. Can you grab me a beer when you're there? Oh yeah, me as well. Are they in the fridge too? Yeah. Okay. No, dude, they're fucking Corona six pack, which is misleading, but they are in there. Central Ignorance Agency. Right? So then, going back to what you said, what what group would have to latch onto this idea to make the CIA reputable again? This idea, um, either of the ones we named. I think. Well, I think. I think any of the like groups that are kind of just like of, you know, the like. Make sure you turn that back on. I never, I, I never turned it off. Just like the whole like, should I have one world government Illuminati type? Like anybody that <laughs> like that kind of the word like this? Because you know, like it's like okay. Well, first of all, it's kind of surprising that if you look into flat Earth theory, it's like the um the all gas no breaks video about this. He talks about it. Nang, nang. Like they went into that thinking it was just gonna be like fun and games, and like they had no idea it was so surrounded in like anti-semitism and like these people basically just thinking that like the jews run the world <laughs> um and that kind of shit but i feel like uh but why does that make the earth flat now i'm intrigued we should we should watch that video i'm because it's really interesting now I'm down. i yeah, they, do i actually did a piece about it oh yeah yeah on will's point that guy he is completely crazy but when he says who the all gas no brakes guy yeah he's not crazy uh, well he's not he's he's on, when genius. he says flat earth stuff is wrapped in anti-semitism because jews run the world that's a little out there but no he didn't say that the people he interviewed said oh, that. oh okay just, have you ever seen all gas no brakes i haven't watched the whole thing oh well it's like a series yeah, it's not like it's one like thing like he, we need to we need to do like a whole episode. Well, on that, <laughs> if you look, awesome. yeah, he's wild. If you yeah, look up you the CEOs of any major corporation, any major news outlet, <clears throat> more likely than not, they are they practice Judaism. Judaism. No? May they have married yeah. into it, or may they have been practicing since birth. They practice it. See, also, I don't want people to think you're anti-Semitic. No, so, I'm like, just that's not, fact. Um, not that that's no, a bad no. thing. They're just a successful yeah. group of people. That, yeah, that's just the fact. Like, like they so these, they got that shit unlocked. So these people see what like the difference is that these people see that and they take that and like then just add a whole bunch of layers on top of it. So these these are the people that think that like Jews run the world and also that they like eat babies and like. So then, what's the difference shit, between? Like, a flat earther and a neo. Uh, Can you say neo on YouTube? I'm gonna bleep it out. I'll do neo bleep. <laughs> I feel like we can because we're we're talking, we're we're talking down on it. This is this is critical commentary. It's critical. YouTube doesn't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, YouTube doesn't. YouTube like doesn't their auto um stop like. They, like only really look at like the first and last bits of things. I don't know. Like, we have like, no idea. Somehow we get strikes. And that's where we're at. <laughs> that's where we're living. On the edge. With all the shit that happened when everything we're going through began, because I don't think we can say it without getting us. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or at least a flag. Area 51 was released and releasing those documents, and there was that raid and 
Aerial. Yeah, dude, remember? Let's go see them. Let's go see remember, them. remember when like five people stormed Area 51? Yeah, no, nobody stormed Area 51. Like a dozen people showed up and like stood at the gate. And yeah. Stood there very nervously while three dozen men with guns on the other side of the gate were just like, don't fucking move. I don't yeah, think people like, understand. That line right there? Don't step over it. They, <laughs> those yeah, that's all that people happened. are that's paid. All well, I remember seeing the news clip. It was hysterical. Step on the line. Do you think those releases and those big, giant plays were just some sort of ploy to get people distracted from the actual problems that were going on? Um, I, Colin thinks I, this about most major news stories that it's just to distract us from things like the lot, Maxwell trial and other things so like that. There are so many distractions around that right now. I okay, yeah, yeah. So I'll I'll agree with you on that. I'll agree with you on that. But like, yeah, okay, so we'll I, go. <laughs> hit me up. I'll give I, you I the believe, info. I I agree with what you're saying, but kind of I guess for different motivations. So I do I do think that the media does often distract people from what's going on, but I don't think that they do it out of some malicious or conspiratorial like uh, intent. I think what happens is just that the society that we live in, media is so driven by get people to watch, get people to watch, get people to watch. And so they are honing in and focusing on these different things because they need that they need that click they need that engagement they need that viewership and so just because that's what they're focused on they leave a lot of the stuff that we should actually be focusing on by the way okay so what if i were to tell but you- it's sad because that stuff they leave at the wayside would get them so many clicks it would. now it would but it's like i don't give a shit about new variants and new this and this happened somewhere and i don't either i want somebody to do some like genuine deep investigative journalism but the people about, like the roots of all of this shit the, yeah i don't want to i don't want to hear all these updates and uh fauci ouchy man yeah uh, like i don't care the same thing that he's been saying for a year and a half in different words like it's and not- the fact that almost every single site like, not, not to say like any of that isn't like serious and like good information but it's like i don't think it's what we need to be focusing on anymore it's like it's a broken record at this point no yeah it can be there i like it's good it's being reported on but like it's had the spotlight for two years like let's uh, like there's more important shit like this trial that no one knows anything about yeah and it's at the point where we're also used to it like no there doesn't have to be a media around any of any like every one of them like they can just be like hey this is a thing yeah like okay same as like same as the last one it's like no a little different like Okay. okay. It's like that. Like it doesn't have to. Like we don't need three hundred like news stories about about this shit every single time. I know something new happens. It's and, wild. And that that's another thing is that like, you know, like one news outlet latches onto something, and then every single other one is like, oh shit, we gotta get covered. Yeah. Here. We yep. gotta do our thing. And so that's another thing that it's like, yeah. it's like they they distract themselves, basically. Like, you know what I mean? It's like... Would either of you be surprised if I were to tell you that if you researched it, the CIA has contracts with former major owners of news outlets? No. Because that is still going on now Well, because also back in the day when the cia was just like blatantly doing fucked up shit yeah you gotta have contracts with the news so that you don't immediately get blown up but now like years later everyone's like wait yeah wait like and guys are leaving the cia and being like yeah i did that Mm -hmm. yeah yeah but yeah no i think i mean now i think it's definitely lesser but like 80s and 90s yeah yeah Yeah, obviously any agency like the cia stands to gain something positive from having a good relationship with the media it's like you know i feel like it's a you scratch our back like we'll scratch yours type yeah thing where it's like it it's you follow the rules we give you it wouldn't be mutual mutually beneficial back scratch type (laughs) beat.mb4 yes mp3 mp4 is a video song with three people called backstretch Probably not. <laughs> we should make one of those like twenty 
like early 2010s meme songs where like somebody would just like sample like somebody talking and like auto tune it. Oh. <laughs> and, like, like, hide your kids, and, like, hide your wife. Yeah, dude. Oh, that's and uh um I got bronchitis. <laughs> did you guys dude. did you guys hear about fucking Fuck. what Facebook did to the original meta? They changed it already? Wait, no, so there was a company like a tech company. Oh, was a company yeah. What? No. Facebook just said they're like their lawyers were hitting up Meta for like years cuz obviously this has been uh, in in process. And this company's like no, like we're a small company, we can't afford to rebrand everything. We don't want to sell the name like no, just you're the biggest company in the world, just stay Facebook. And eventually you're the biggest company in the world no the little company was like we can't afford to rebrand this is our name and i'm pretty sure their name no, was like I'm, it was I'm meta saying, something and like like why would you fucking bother changing? yeah i don't know like you're, like, so then you're meta, dude, your facebook you're so meta, then your facebook i'm not calling you meta eventually facebook just said fuck this and changed their name and just like buried this company. And now there's another lawsuit against them for doing that. Cause it's like just blatant trademark violations. Yeah. I mean, Facebook and like other large media companies like buy up people all the fucking time. Yeah. But this like, company like, was like, like but this company was like, nah, bro, we're, we're not selling you this. Like, no, they said no yeah. hundreds of times. And then finally I mean, face. Facebook was like, well, we'd rather go through a lawsuit than hear no again. So Facebook is big brother, dude. Facebook is the monolith. Like you can't fight Facebook. Yeah. They'll just, they'll just like run you, run you out in like fucking legal fees or something. Like, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Who would, who would win in a, like, come up with some like lawsuit or something, even though it's like bullshit and then just like make it last as long as possible. Yeah. Go bankrupt. It's like, that's just like that's just child's play for like corporations like that. Who would win in a, so a street fight, Facebook or Google? Uh, in a street in a street fight, We're yeah. Street rules. Wow, this is now this is sounding like that bit from Hot Rod. Um, <laughs> who would win, who would win in a fight at Taco Bell? We're talking we we talking street rules or prison rules? What are we talking? <laughs> no, I think um, wait, what well, Facebook and who? Google. Oh, um, like if they got in like a really big legal battle. Sure. Okay. Well, Google. Well, I'll I'll answer that, and then I'll answer the like if Google and Facebook were people and they were actually fighting each other. Okay. But um, I think, I think. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Google. Google. Like it's just it's Google, bro. Yeah. It's like they have they have so much data. It's stupid. That, that shit's huge. Um, yeah, Google would, de- Google would definitely win. But I I feel like Facebook has some vicious as fuck lawyers. Yeah. Allegedly. This is not legal advice. This is this is not my opinion. I'm just providing commentary. Um, <laughs> Don't mean, come after us. <laughs> yeah. No, but I feel this is, this is a compliment to the Facebook lawyers watching this, actually. Um, you guys are really good at your job i bet Um, well that's what (laughs) that's what happened with the meta thing eventually the lawyers were like fuck it we're gonna win this anyway let's just change the name keep going it's like google google didn't uh bomb a nice small company into the ground to get their name you know it's like or or start or start a civil uprising in a foreign country multiple times this is also like the third country that they have like i feel like started a mass genocide in yeah yeah yeah, I mean, they, like, Google can just, like, flip the switch of a button and, like, start an uprising. And, like... <laughs> but Facebook... Okay, but like, No, but Facebook has successfully done that know, multiple times. I know, like, that's, that's just, like, not all right. Um, like, did I say Google when I... Yeah, yeah, oh, you did. What do you, yeah, Facebook. What do you expect when the guy who created the company buried his own college friend so he could have the idea? Yeah, true. So, for... I Because I can't stop thinking about it now why now i've read why but why do you both think the maxwell trial itself is being so buried under the carpet that you you can only call a certain number to hear what happened in the courtroom during a certain time period is that really how, is that really how technical? yeah i have the number on my phone that you can call to I, listen in it's pretty interesting because it's gonna it's I gonna it's and i really like I knew it was going on, but only 
only there. Really. Like now that now that you mentioned Dude. it, I really have not heard near as much coverage as I had. Like it's... Know, just during just during the like Epstein trial, like. And stuff like it's no well problem. there was no trial no, epstein died no epstein during, trial. During, well no no i was gonna say like think think about the rittenhouse trial distraction every single day on every platform you would see videos audio files pictures updates um that's yeah that's i guess that's another break about just like media coverage and stuff is like there should be there should be equal access to trials like that well also it's a public court it's the state of new york versus Ghislaine maxwell why are there no accessible files on it have you guys seen the um, i think it's because there's so many high level people involved that they're just like yo keep it hush hush to tell both of you all of us are innocent until proven guilty so don't release this fucking information you may have to bleep these names but bill clinton and have both been subpoenaed yeah, by the New York <laughs> court to come and testify in the case. Yeah, so which they, makes sense. They've been subpoenaed, so they oh, have yeah, to yeah. show up. That's and cool. what's going on right now is they are on a five-day yeah. recess due to one of the lawyers getting a cold or She's some dead. sort of sickness. She's dead, bro. At the I've end, been saying that this whole when time. When the judge... I'm waiting for her to die. Dude, the day before the I judge came out was like, we need to postpone this. Yeah. It's recorded that Maxwell was hugging and acting joyous with her lawyers for some odd reason. And then right after Because they're that, cheating their way out of this. There's another Well, they're thing. buying their way A out of this. A lot of people don't know is they're putting certain people in place in the court itself that have ties back to Maxwell. Well, I said to one of you at some point, maybe both of you, because we talked about this the other day. How the fuck do you get an unbiased jury for this trial? No, yeah, dude. You I, don't. Like zero I'm, shot. It's like, like you, you have to. And have even to if you manage to, like mountain men. Yeah. Well, phones well. Yeah, like Adirondack fucking. Zero. And even if you manage that, even if you pull that off, even if you pull that off. Of people, like, yeah. You know, who's to say like who's to th- say that these lawyers don't immediately stop them leaving the courthouse and they're like, we'll give you we will set you up for future generations if you just say not guilty. Like, yeah, because I mean, that's these just people have that kind of money. They have like I could I could like change every person on the jury's life forever money and then like, still be comfortable once I'm free. So get this people. People are starting to now to put pieces together that maybe. The reason things are getting so crazy and they're starting to be stalled and she feels she's in such a good place is because Epstein wasn't the one that put her in the position of power she was in. She and her family's name and their power of Mossad put him in the position of power to where she'd be able to take a backseat, not get caught and ride and control his coattails the whole entire time why do i feel like this is your cia leader conspiracy but with different names it's that's, like the same concept i mean i feel like that's it, what i was I literally like good at getting at earlier this than it does i was trying there, to say so. it earlier but we weren't on this topic no that's like because I mean, it's that's, it's very plausible her father exactly. we've talked about it before was a Mossad agent one of the well, very head agents who disappeared randomly because of the shit he did yeah her family never lost their ties to Mossad her sister coded for the FBI she herself moved here and obviously was pardoned of having to live any real life because she was tossed into this glorious you can do whatever you want here are all these powerful well, people well wait let's but then also the argument against her coercing epstein is like she would help him but then she would also do the shit he was do- like multiple of the women have testified like she did almost arguably worse things to me than epstein if and his friends you're did a true controller you will allow the chess pieces on the board to look like they're being moved by someone else but you're in control the whole time so i have an analogy i have a, i have a comparison let's uh let's look at this from the framework of like mafia wives Mm. so like whenever any any like famous mafioso that's like gone away and like gotten caught for a bunch of shit and like done a lot of hard time it's like every in every single one of those cases 
the wives are like, I had no, I had no idea my husband, and it's like, I, I had no, like they, they are lips sealed. They know absolutely nothing. And well, even convincing about it, even more recently, you know, it's like, that's, that's your husband. It's like, obviously, you know, every single in, in and out of that man's business, how much of a hand you have in it remains to be seen, but that remains to be seen because you're so <laughs> locked tight about it. And yeah. so on your shit. And like, I feel like all of those women are like a really like textbook example of like what's happening here but also even more recently el chapo's wife did the same shit and then the jury and then the jury was like fuck off dude and she got like three years or something but it's still not enough for being el chapo's wife but (laughs) to the point where you guys were saying uh, how do you not know who she is oh uh, was like a very a very similar case Zip, lock, zip tight, dude. Yeah, like, but, and like out, maybe not out, but one of one of those big guys. One of those big like guys. Gotti or something. If, if, Unless you yeah. know someone who has been talking about it, or you've anyone? done research yourself, I'm uh, okay. There is zero shot you have ever taken interest or ever heard about this. There, yeah, I, I mean, Michael like, himself told me that he had no idea any of this was real. Michael's my cousin, by the way. Okay. What's going on, Mike? He hey, told me I, he had no idea any I'm of this Epstein. I'm, That's I'm right. This now. is you, Will. You should be on the show. We tried. Too. We tried. And you, sir, you, sir, slipped away. But okay. I slipped away once, too. And he's got me. That's back. all right. What was... uh? Frick, I forgot where I was going. Um, oh, yeah, like just uh, the general public just like is not paying attention. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mike was yeah. the very first person. He, he had no idea. He goes, I had no idea that that shit was real. I mean, I didn't know that was actually happening in the mm-hmm. real world when we dropped yeah. our very first Epstein episode. He was yeah, like, that's dude. addicting. I want to know more about no, that. Oh, yeah, dude. But I said, see, I think it's kind of interesting because it's like that. I think plays into a lot of other like very polarizing conspiracy groups uh, that start with the letter Q um, and stuff like that Um, in the sense that it's like, so the like Epstein shit and all that, it's like, that's real, bruh. Like he, he did that shit. There are very powerful people that are actually involved in that shit. And it's like, I think that's why like the, the Q shit and like all that like fucked up so many people because there is a seed of truth you know and then you you stack a lot they stack a lot of really insane out there shit on top of it and those people still bought it but it's like the the kind of like foundational stuff like the the sort of the sort of precursors that like made that conspiracy happen it's like yeah it's like that's real that's real dude that it's like is... epstein actually re- like actually did that shit and yeah. stuff you know it's like there's no denying it there's mm-hmm. so yeah there... yeah and that's why i think even even like really because it's the q on people it's always like right-wing people that are like you know they're not they don't normally seem like conspiratorial minded people but i think that's why because the the seed of truth in it is is not a conspiracy <laughs> like yeah no it's it's fucking weird there is definitely a certain group of people who have been following it from the very first time he got arrested and labeled yeah. a pedophile in florida yeah no, and then cause, slipped cause away a lot, of, a lot of people have been like on that shit so yeah like, and then there's people that if you were to tell that fact to that he got pardoned by a governor in florida and yeah. also labeled the pedophile but had to do zero time in jail they'd be like you my friend are a lunatic bro when we watched filthy rich or whatever it's yep. called that's it that sparked this podcast yeah, that's, the, that's, the doc. that's yeah. what inspired this podcast but when we watched that and they were like yeah we do that all the time and they were like yeah when we watched that and it got to the point where they were like yeah um he was like sentenced but then he was allowed to leave friday through sunday i remember pausing it and being like what the fuck he had to go to jail. So he had to go to he had to go to the jailhouse for like eight hours a day. And then Friday through Sunday, he didn't have to go. Imagine treating your 
prison sentence. Who's a convicted? Five, who's a convicted like, pedophile? Yeah, no, it's like Epstein. It's like Epstein's punishment is like what everybody else just like does to go to work every day, dude. <laughs> like, what the fuck is that? That's, dude, that's so, but so, fucked. but that's so, so, based fucked. off of years, based off the original idea we had here, mm-hmm. do you think if any of these groups jumped on this train that normal people like us would start being like, oh? Or is there too much evidence? Is that the line here? That's the line. That brings I, it all yeah. back. Yeah, no, I think I was about to say, I think it depends on how much, like, legitimate evidence and credibility it has. Yeah. Because some, cause some people, like, you know, there can be speculation and, like, opinion-based stuff that is very compelling and does sound like it has basis to it. But that, But there's a difference between stuff like that and stuff like this that has, like, actual hard evidence. Yeah, and so I, I think dozens, it, if not hundreds, of people who are like, "No, he ruined my life." Yeah, no, I think I think that's definitely the line. I think it's how much, how much like real world, like factual credibility that conspiracy has. I mean, at that point, it's not a conspiracy. I don't think this is a conspiracy, but for uh, some reason, people are saying it still people, is. Yeah, I mean, that people think that basic science is a fucking conspiracy. It's yeah, like you know, nothing is off the table anymore. I mean, the Pandora doesn't go back in the box. Yeah. <laughs> Santa Claus isn't a conspiracy until you find out that the guy's not actually real. Thank God these videos aren't made for kids. I know, right? Okay. Well, wait. Three, two. One. I'll kiss you on the lips. Action. <laughs> well, that being said, <laughs> we just kissed off camera. I, that bombshell. I cut out. A three-way makeout sesh, but also you're lucky. Sign up for our OnlyFans and Patreon, and you could have yeah, seen you it. You guys want that exclusive? Content. Oh, we got to talk about Patreon before you leave. Will got me amped on it. Ooh. Um, this has been a couple pines pod. It's it's safe to say. It's safe to say. Do steroids, kids. Yeah. Do steroids yeah. and golf. Doping should be allowed. Goodbye. <laughs>